<laughs> this is a certified hood classic. Literally, I am down to my last two. Bro, look, all of these, I, well, okay, this, this one I have drank. All of these, I literally drank all these Magic Mind. Magic Mind. Yeah, oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Magic Mind. Y'all can see it in the videos, bro. I've been taking Magic Mind. I've been taking it once a day, sometimes twice. <laughs> um, because once I got over the, like, the initial shock factor of, wow, I am taking an energy drink, I started saying to myself, huh, how does this energy drink help me, all right? This is a, not an energy drink per se. This is an energy shot, all right? I feel better. I think that this is a good product. You know, I wouldn't stand behind anything that I didn't personally take or I didn't personally do. It gives a it gives a approval rating for me, man. This this batch of Magic Mind was really, really good, man. If you want to check out the company for yourself, don't forget to go in the link in the description. It is going to be the top link, all right, in the description, all right? And you will get a discount over there, man. Check it out, man. Go check out the link in the description. Without further ado, let's get started, my boy. That should be the first and last time you ever do that in your life, my boys, boy. It sounds like two cats being beat. Stan, are you okay? Yeah, Dad, we're just rehearsing our band. Oh, I thought a group of Vietnamese people were having their intestines pulled out through their mouths. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. We have to define our style if we're ever going to make a platinum album. No, you have to get style first, my boy. What the hell are you talking about? We have to define it. Bro, you have to get some style, I mean, bro. I'm a fusion guy, but Kenny's background is more Latin jazz. Yeah, and I'm more Bullshit. hip hop and R&B oriented. Bullshit. I think I better buy a whole bunch of music CDs to listen to for inspiration. Inspiration. Wait a minute. That's it. Inspiration, you guys. Don't you see? See what? Our band should play Christian rock. I remember this episode, Faith Plus fucking one. <laughs> Faith Plus one, bro. This is when he had the Christian album with Token and Butters. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy, bro. You know what's crazy? I've never seen the whole episode. Christian rock. That's Think messed about up. It. It's the easiest, crappiest music in the world, right? If we just play songs about how much we love Jesus, uh, at least I all think, the Christians yeah, it will is. buy our crap. It That's is. a retarded idea, Cartman. It worked for Creed. I don't want to be in a stupid Christian rock band. You just start that way, Stan, then you cross over. It's genius. Just get the hell out of here, Carmen. You're not serious and you're a detriment to the band. Who are you? Like, who are you, Kyle, to kick somebody out? Normally, it needs to be voted on unanimously. And a lot of times, and this is not all the time, this is definitely not all the time, but a lot of times, the lead singer usually has a lot of influence on whether who's going to stay and go a lot of times. I ain't going to say all the time. Um, but I just, I, I just don't understand why they didn't just make a vote. You know what I'm saying? Like, why don't y'all just make a vote? You can't just kick, uh, Cartman out and shit. Oh, yeah? I will bet you ten bucks that if I start a Christian rock band, I can get a platinum album before you guys do. All right, here we go. that boy. Okay, thanks. Ready? First one to have a platinum album wins. Go. <laughs> <laughs> he just gonna run off. The band name was Moop. <laughs> get your drum set and meet me at my house. We have to make a platinum album. Hurry, buddy. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> 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 hey, this so, part funny. Get the bass guitar out of your basement and meet me over at my house. <laughs> what? We don't have a bass guitar. Your family's black token. There's bound to be a bass guitar in your basement somewhere. <laughs> hey, token is piss. Token is piss. But can I can I be real with y'all? Can I be honest? We had a bass guitar in our basement. <laughs> and my grandpa had a, a drum set. My grandpa had a drum set. But my but look, 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 though. But in my defense, I've come from a musical background family. My family is really musical. My uncle was a world famous jazz musician. I'm not gonna say music, but my dad, DJ, uh, owns his own radio station, rhythm rhythmflightradio.com. You can check that out now. For all the best in the classics, man. You know what I'm saying? You can check that out right now, right right after this video. But And I do music, you know, rap. I rap and produce and do all type of shit. So I'm like, it's funny that they said that, and it's funny that 
Nigga, we literally did have a bass guitar. Hey, oh, there was funny. a bass guitar in my basement. It I wasn't in my basement, but it was in my So what are we house. doing? Gentlemen, we are about to embark on the most amazing, life-affirming, financially windfalling experiences of our young lives. Whoa! We are going to start a Christian rock band. Nah, uh. <laughs> you like, I'm fuck out. that. Wait, walk out that door token and you'll regret it the rest of your life. Christians have a built-in audience of over 180 of million Americans. If each one of them bought just one of our albums at $12.95, that would be... $2,331,000,000. Still want the leave token? Man, that's a, that's a hell of a lot of money, my boy. It's hard. When you put... See, when you put stuff in that perspective, it's hard to pass up on it. Do you see... Do you see the motivation sometimes be the money for people? But it's nothing wrong with you wanting to get some money. Bro, if you create good music because you want to get money and that's your motivation, fuck it. I know that I have good music. I just, I, re I prefer you let your fans know that because then they don't expect you to do extra shit. They don't expect you to be this person who's like really dedicated to it. it we just have to expect that like, mm, they don't really care. They just kind of care. You know what I'm saying? I think that's a good thing to let your fans know. And, you know, it is what it is. Our bro. band can't find it a stylistic direction to go in. We need to go down to the mall to buy hundreds of CDs to listen to so we can define our sound. Sorry, Kyle, we gave you your allowance already. Uh, can't you see this is my dream? Music is my life. It wasn't hmm. your life yesterday. Look, sure. Pat, I've got the music inside me. It's in oh, my soul. God. Here we I go. I know my place is up on that stage. I'm going to make it to the top. And I just want your blessing, Pops. The answer is no, Kyle. Oh, come on, Dad. Don't be such a Jew. Kyle, <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. You're your own people. He's like, thank you. <laughs> hey, dude, it didn't work. My stupid Jew dad won't let me money for CDs. No, dude, it's cool. Kenny says you can... That's crazy to say, low-key. Like, imagine if I said that shit about my dad and shit. Hey, dad, you want to come make some videos? No, I can't do it right now. Dad, fuck. Guys, my stupid black dad won't let me go fucking around. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you weirdo. You music for You're free weird. on the internet. Really? Woo! Yeah, yeah LimeWire. <laughs> Hey, we used to do that back in the See, day, LimeWire. Everyone copies music from their CDs, and then we can download them for free and play them on the computer. All right, cool. Let's download some Metallica and some Stevie Wonder. I don't know if y'all um, used, used to use that shit, man. Um, not, I'm not saying myself, or am I? Looking ass, bro. Gucci man, Lil Wayne, we be steady mobbing, all that shit. LimeWire. You hear me? Or Frostwire. Oh, shit, man, nigga. All the OGs know LimeWire. Y'all young y'all young kids, y'all yeah, grew up in Apple Music. YouTube got everything. The Drake, Drake new album, he fuck around and dropped that shit on YouTube. You hear me? But we got to give props to Soldier Boy for that, man. Y'all wasn't cranking that Soldier Boy. Y'all was cranking bottles and shit, bro. Y'all was babies. Wasn't even thought of. You hear me? In a ball stack, bro. That's where y'all was at, bro. Oh, young oh, ass. Oh. Actually, no, I take that back. A lot of y'all... Matter of fact, my bad. I'll take that back. I would say people around my age, Judas no. Priest. Wow, downloading music for free is awesome. Yes, it is. Oh, How's shit. That? I don't know. Let me check. You got to be dead. <laughs> oh, my God. Down on the ground. Down on the ground. They overreact. What the fuck? <laughs> Hounds. Tango team is at point. Bravo. Suspects in custody. <laughs> move, 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 move. Move, 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 all these rapists and murderers out here, and that's what they do. I swear, that's how police police be in real life. So, all these murderers out here, and you worried about a speeding speeding over five miles per hour. Just shut up. Kyle, Just shut the hell up. Do? I wasn't what going that know? fast. All right, guys, this I'm is going to be so easy. All we have to do to make Christian songs is take regular old songs and add Jesus stuff to them. Right. See, no. All we have to do is cross out words like baby and darling no. and replace them with Jesus. That boy gonna do a Trey songs. I bet Jesus know my name. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay, nice, very nice. Smooth. All right, token, give me a smooth bass line. I don't know how to play bass. <laughs> token, how many times do we have to go through <laughs> this? You're black. You can play bass. <laughs> I'm getting sick of your stereotypes. Be as good as you want. Just give me a goddamn bass line. <laughs> Type shit. This will fuck me up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how the hell you ain't know how to play? Hey, literally, this shit manipulated me so much, I actually thought I could play bass. <laughs> I, swear to God. I swear to God, bro. I swear. I thought I could play bass guitar, bro. Like, when I, I seen, I've seen a few clips out of this. i seen that clip. i seen the one, well, I won't say the other clips i seen. You'll know when I see it. But uh, I've seen that. 
And I remember seeing the clips or it's, I don't know, whatever it was, because we didn't have cable. So I must have watched it on TV because I know I ain't watching it on YouTube or nothing. And shit, well, YouTube wasn't popping like that when I was a kid. Um, matter of fact, when YouTube was popping like that, it was popping. No, YouTube was popping. But, like, when I was on YouTube, I was literally watching anime on YouTube. Like, that's how far, like, YouTube, like, way back in the day, bro, used to be, like, a real social media site where you could send people messages. Gotcha. I can't live without you. I, 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 no, 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 no. Wait, what? Hold on. Hold on. Wait, my bad. Hold on. No, you're a freak. Sir? Shut up. You downloaded a lot of songs. Says here you even downloaded. Judas Priest? That's a hard time you boys are looking at. <laughs> he a bitch ass to say for yourselves? <laughs> He's a bitch. He didn't think it was that big a deal. Not a big deal? You think downloading music for free is not a big deal? Look at this man sick. Put your coats on. I'm going to show you something. Oh, he the ghost of Christmas, Christmas past. Like Nigga just showing them stuff. This is the home of Lars Ulrich, the drummer from Metallica. Look, nice house. There's Lars now sitting by his pool. Oh, crying little What's bitch. What's the matter with him? This month he was hoping to have a gold plated shark tank bar installed right next to the pool. But thanks to people downloading his music for free, he must now wait a few months before he can afford it. <laughs> come, <there's laughs> okay. More. Oh, it's going to be all of this. Here's okay, Britney come Spears on. Private jet. More of this. Notice anything? Brittany used to have a Gulfstream 4. Now she's had to sell it and get a Gulfstream 3 because people like you oh. chose to download her music for free. Oh, my bad. But the, I, I think they're trying to push the narrative that, oh, man, with people, with a few people just downloading music here and there, oh, it's really hurting these millionaires' pockets. Like, as like, oh, man, they got to wait a, a few extra months to get that solid gold yada yada, get that iced out watch, man. Hey, look, stay tuned, man. Your boy got some jewelry coming, man. Oh, talking too much? The Gulfstream 3 doesn't even have a remote control for its surround sound DVD system. DVD? Still think downloading music for free is no big deal. How we old you know this is? Didn't realize what we were doing. That is the Shut up, Kyle. Now look in Shut this up. window. Here you see the loving family of Master P. I thought it was going to say Snoop Dogg or something. Next week shit. is his son's birthday, and all he's ever wanted is an island in French Polynesia. <laughs> so he's going to get it, right? That's Lil Romeo. <laughs> I see an island without an owner. If things keep going the way they are, <laughs> the child will not get his tropical paradise. No. We're sorry, we'll never exactly. download music for free again. Man must learn to think of these horrible outcomes before he acts selfishly, or else, I fear, recording artists will be forever doomed to a life of only semi-luxury. Man, shut your macho jaw ass up, or you're a freak too. Them carrots on your face. Got two carrots, I'll one other. Yeah. One, two, stupid ass. Why the hell did you tell us to dress nice to take us out here? This is this where I was. We have to take pictures for our album cover. The key to a hot selling Christian rock album is a flashy, inspirational album cover. Yeah, Ooh, thanks. Neato, an album cover. This Christian album better make as much money as you said it would, Tubby. <laughs> I'm going to kill you one day, Token. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Nothing. All right, guys, stand over there and look wholesome and cool. Token, Token kind of provoked that, though. He did. He did. Token was an asshole to cry. I mean, you know. Carvin is racist towards Token ish. He, he racist ish. I want to say he's exactly racist towards him, because you know real racists wouldn't even talk to you, or if they talk to you, they they aim to disrespect you every single time, every single time. I don't think Cartman necessarily does that. I think he says in this in this universe. I think a lot of times he says harsh truths in a way that people don't find acceptable. No, he's definitely an asshole. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to defend him. But, like, in in this universe, he says, black people black people have a bass guitar in their basement. That was racist. But in his world, maybe they all fucking do. And the token just didn't know that. And then he said, black people all know how to play bass guitar. It's like, no, I obviously don't know how to fucking play bass guitar. But it's, it's funny. But token did. 
in their universe. So maybe Carmen says selective truths that are very harsh in a way that people don't like. That pisses people off. I have off. a timer on this maybe. Thing, so I, can I don't know. Too. What do y'all think? Let me know what y'all think. No, no, no. Haven't you guys ever seen an album cover? You're supposed to be standing in random places, looking away like you don't care. Facts. Can't let them know you care about them. Cheese! No, Butters, you <laughs> can't look happy on an album cover. That's Shut not true. Shut up, Butters. Oh. Token, look away to the right. More. More. Why the hell would I be looking way over there? So it looks like you're too cool to care that you're on an album cover, you black asshole. <laughs> now just hold it. <laughs> Our first album cover. No, nah, he's smart. He he is smart, bro. I don't care what nobody say. Carmen it might be a fucking asshole, but he is smart as hell. His marketing is immaculate. His business sense and business skills are great, superb, on par. This man has got million dollar businesses. He just been such an asshole. He can't keep them every single time, bro. Don't ever leave me, Jesus. I couldn't stand to see you go. My heart would simply snap, my lord, if you walk on out that door. Gotcha. I promise <laughs> I'll be good to you. I used to do this when I, back in the day, write the lyrics, write lyrics on my hand when I ain't had no paper. That's what's up, man. Go ahead, it's man. Right. Make something out of nothing. Boys learn their lesson. Boy, I'll say. If you parents would just step over here, you can pay their four hundred dollar release and penalty fees. Four hundred dollars just for downloading some songs off the internet? Right. Not that big a deal. Not a big deal, huh? Oh, God. Here Come we with go. Me. I'm gonna show you something. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna, gonna like, like it. it. <laughs> Look, if we make an album, all that's gonna happen of is course. that people are gonna steal our songs for free off the internet. We won't make a dime. Oh, yeah. Until we get people to stop downloading music for free, I say we refuse to play. Look, Who the fuck don't Tom, care? I'm standing in South Park, Colorado, where the rock band Moop has refused <laughs> to play. The strike started yesterday and could go well in the next week. Oh, the hey rock guys, band Moop. We're not letting you back in the band, Cartman. F*** off. I don't want to be in your crappy Damn. band, Dad. I just wanted to let you know the album for my Christian rock band, Faith Plus One, is okay. about to go platinum. Okay. It is? That's right. That We've fast. only sold 13 copies. You want to pay me that $10 bet now, Cap? Bro, you don't get platinum for selling 13 copies to the stupid ass, bro. You might be on his way. He might be on his way. But, uh... Got a long ways away to go. Another nine hundred thousand at least, bro. And he ain't even cracked the hundred thousand mark, bro. You gotta sell. I think you gotta sell. It probably was like I don't like I don't know like I don't know million or five million copies to get platinum or something. <laughs> or maybe I'm thinking about streams or something. You get a platinum album for selling one million copies, you fat turd. A million. Just a matter of there time, my friends. This weekend is Christ Fest, the single largest gathering of Christians in the Midwest. Each one of them a walking, praying wallet full of cash. And I'll be there selling my album. Yep. You'll never get a platinum album doing Christian rock, Cartman. It was a stupid idea then, and it's a stupid idea now. No, it's you not. You don't know anything about Christianity. I know enough to exploit it. Just get that 10 bucks ready, Cal. <laughs> well, but he ain't lying. People will just download your song for free on the internet anyways. What a dumbass. Our band is way cooler than his. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Leather Bound Bible, show your faith. Yes, it's really the best Christian album that's ever been produced, actually. Ooh, this would okay. be great for my grandchildren. They need hip cool music, but with inspirational lyrics. No, oh, try Eminem, bro. I, I, I hear he has that. I think that's what the whole world needs. <laughs> Praise Christ. We're not Praise Christ. Christian. We're just pretending we are. Don't get me wrong. I love these hoes. Wait, what did he say? Wait, what did he say? I'm thinking about lyrics for, for Eminem. Hold on, bro. Wait, okay. wait, wait. Our band is way one, one second. Than his. We play metal and oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Damn it. That's what the whole what the? world needs. Praise Christ. Well, we're not really Christian. We're just pretending we are. Yeah, ass. But it's a but it's me later to cut your balls off. Damn it. Wow. We're going to sell our hot Christian album. <laughs> we have got to get on that stage. Hey, is this the way My to the bad job. stage? Who are you? We're the band Sanctified. We play metal and punk, but with lyrics that inspire faith in Christ. Yeah, we prove that Christian music can be tough and hardcore. Yeah, you okay. got to be real hardcore. You bet your gosh darn rear end we are. Shut up. All right, uh, Sanctified, you guys are up next. Yeah. I don't even like how you lean in. Okay, Sanctified. Let's I'm do like, it. shut up. Stand down from heaven, the spirit and the glory. Hey, hey guys, wait. Uh, we want to pray with you before heaven. you go on stage. Oh, that, that's cool. Always good to be praying before you're playing. Let's just oh, no, that's ahead. right. Looking like a character from Breaking Bad. Boy, get your ugly ass on Lord somewhere, Father boy. In heaven, we thank you for all your oh, my mama, you ugly as hell. 
think they can get out? Oh, no shit, butters. You know, and they Steven, stole their spot. I've been thinking a lot about you lately. Well, that's why I wrote this song. <laughs> I love you, Jesus. <laughs> I want you to walk with me. Oh, they fuck with it, though. I take good care of your baby. Call you my baby, baby. Hey, your love is my life. <laughs> oh, my you know God. Okay. Dude, I didn't know okay. being a band was gonna okay. be this tough. Yeah, it's tough. But it's times like these that you see what your band is made of. He said, I want you to have my baby. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Carmen is, uh, boy, I mean, wow. Carmen has a good method. Take existing songs. Like, literally, I've seen some Christian, like, musicians do that. Not exactly like that, but like, I mean, like that, it's like the whole kids bop formula. You know what I'm saying? Like you hear a kid bop, kid, you know, kids bop will take anything. It don't matter what it is, bro. They were taking all pop songs, but lately they ain't been making new kids bop shit because shit been a little too ratchet. Like what would they do with Sexy Red, man? Shout out to Sexy Red, man, from St. Louis, man. You know, I had to shout my girl out, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, Sexy Red. But you know what I'm saying? But what would kids bop do? Playground. Thugging, thugging with my rounds. My crayon pink. Another crayon brown. What the fuck is you going to say to that? You hear me? How were they going to make a... Like, how do you even make... How do you even make a clean kids bop version of that, bro? Like, somebody please tell me. If, if, somebody, if, somebody, makes, if somebody makes a funny kids bop version on there, I am doing a reaction to that shit on the channel, bro. Tom, we're now entering the second My day crayons, of the Rock pink. Band Moops refusal to play and the second day of absolutely no other news Booty to report hole, wow. on. In a recent poll, we asked people if Moops refusal to play would stop them from downloading music off the internet. 1% said yes, 2% said no, and 97% said, who the hell is Moop? <laughs> right. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> hey, are you right. the guys protesting free internet music downloading? Hey, it's that Lars Ulrich guy. That's right. Metallica is behind you, dude. A thousand percent. No, that's not Mars Oil. That that's a zombie. Look at him, boy. That's a zombie from uh, a zombie extra from the show The Office. We're gonna sit here and protest with you until free downloading stops. Yeah. Stops. Tom, yeah. It appears now the musician strike is growing. As I'm speaking, more musicians are arriving. It looks nice. like Alanis Morissette Just park in the middle of the street, huh? And dozens of others are going to join Moop in not playing music. Okay, just fuck traffic. Just fuck traffic. They only, they in a small town, only got one damn road down there. Just fuck that. <laughs> this is a veritable strike-a-palooza. <laughs> Come on. Guys, we here at Faith Records were very moved by your performance at Christ Fest. You're one of the most talented Biscuit Christian rock fans we've ever heard. Chitters. Thank you so much. Christ has really blessed us with talent. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. We just had one question, though. We were looking over some of your lyrics. Uh, I want to walk hand in hand with Jesus on a private beach for two. Okay. I want him to nibble on my ear and say I'm here for you. It, it seems you really love Christ. Yes, we sure do. Yeah. It, no, but it, it appears you are too actually in love with Christ. Right. Freaky ass boy. Well, what are you saying? That, that you don't really love Christ? Well, of, of course I do. I mean, I just... Well, what's the difference? You <laughs> love Christ, you're in love with Christ. I mean, what go. the heck is this? Oh, we just like to make sure the bands we sign are in it for God and not for the money. I resent that, sir. That's not what you were asking. He was a punk. We try, he was he was trying to make sure that, well, maybe that is what they asked. Maybe that is what he was asking. But Loki, to me, he was saying, like, all right, bro, are you really a freak? Is that... We're trying to make sure we're not signing no freaks. You know what I'm saying? That's really what he was talking about, bro. Like, I have never in my life done anything for just for the money. If I'm lying, may the Lord strike me down right now. Uh, uh. <laughs> I want to get down on my knees and start pleasing Jesus. I want to feel his salvation all over my face. What? <laughs> what? Who doesn't remember? The body of Christ. Sleep, swim, and body all mustard up and tone. Body of Christ. Oh, what a body. I wish I could call it my what? <laughs> no, can't bro. Take this much no. Maybe we're just not. Body at Christ. Hey, what? What's you want? Guys, we can't give up on our dreams now. As soon as the strike ends, we're gonna be the biggest band ever. Yeah, if we all give in now, people might never stop downloading our music for free. I'm sure we're gonna get word any minute that people have agreed to stop. 
Certified letter for the rock band Moop. Moop. It's us. <laughs> Stupid ass. Dear Moop, this letter is to inform you that Faith Plus One's debut album has just sold one million copies. Ooh. What? We cordially invite you Damn. to attend the Platinum Album Awards ceremony, which will be held tomorrow morning at 10. Details and proof of sales enclosed. P.S. No, 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 no. He did it. Carmen got a platinum album. This Damn, is boy. For real. He beat us. Because all this time we've been so caught up with how to protect our music that we forgot to just play. But why play ah. if you're not going to make millions of dollars? Because that's what real artists do. Okay, man. Why Master P ain't got no fucking neck, y'all? People are always going to find a way to copy our music and swap it for free. If we're real musicians, then we should just play and be stoked that so many people are listening. True. Besides, maybe our songs would have gotten downloaded for free. But if they were good songs, then people still would have bought tickets to see our band in concert. True. From now True. on, Moop isn't about money. Moop is about music. We're not striking anymore. Who's with us? We're just about the money. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, There's nothing wrong with that. Dude, what are you going to do about your bet with Cartman? Are you going to pay him? I don't have a choice, dude. I'm going to swallow my pride, face Carmen, and say, congratulations, you were right. And I'm going to give him the $10. And okay. He won't make a big deal out of it. No, no, nah, stop Carmen, it. Now you know he is. Enjoy. The presentation should begin shortly. Carmen, what the hell is all this? Our platinum album ceremony has spared no expense. But you spent all the money we made. Why would you let Cartman have control over the money? Like, I mean, I know that it's going to be a hard job to get. It's a hard task to get, uh, to get Cartman to not have control over. But literally, you could just stop playing. Butters could stop playing. I guess Cartman will find a way around it. But you could have got some money. Like, bro, like, what? you know what I'm saying? Like, why did you have no control over the money at With all? With plus one token, there'll be plenty more money. Relax and enjoy, black asshole. There's hors by the Ferris wheel, everyone. That's why he beat your ass. Oh. Kyle, guys, so nice to see you. Let's just get this over with, Cartman. You on the bed, here's $10. Oh, no, 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 not yet, Cap. Hold on. Everyone, everyone, can I have your attention, please? There he go. We love you. Praise Christ. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you. Praise him. I think we're ready to start now. Okay. Here we go. Welcome He's going to make a big deal. Ceremony for Faith plus one. And now to present the award, here is Michael Collins. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> uh, this is the best day of my life. <laughs> Boys, in recognition yep. of over one million records sold, the Christian recording industry is pleased to present you with this Murr album. That shit don't. Murr album. Oh no. No, no, no. In Christian rock, our albums go gold and frankincense and myrrh. <laughs> oh God. Hey, hey, I know he's gonna be pissed, bro. I. I don't remember that shit, bro. I, I thought, is that true, bro? Is that true? Like, is that really true? Does do Christian albums go gold, frankincense, and myrrh? I guess I don't know, but I I mean I get it. The three wise men and 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 whatnot. <laughs> Gonna say and shit, <laughs> you know. Congratulations. Ha! Huh. Our bet was that you would get a platinum album, not a myrrh album. Yep, I you didn't get anything, it. Fat boy. Yep. Do you mean to tell me I can never get a platinum album with a Christian rock band? No, but you can go double mer. <laughs> Fuck that shit. God damn it! Huh? Oh? Huh? Oh, please don't take the Lord's name in vain. Who cares? I can never win my <laughs> bet because you stupid assholes don't give out platinum albums. But you spread the word of the Lord. You brought faith in Jesus. Oh, f Jesus! Oh, oh shit! <laughs> That woman hair about to blow up, <laughs> like on the Dave Chappelle uh, uh, the first episode, boy. When they found out the black white, the black white supremacist, bro. Y'all remember that? And he finally took it. He talking about some Clayton. Take off your hood, brother. We want to see what you look like. He said, "Take who said that? Take off my hood." All right, that boy took off his hood. It was uh, he was black as hell under that mud, boy. That nigga head exploded, boy. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. That was my favorite day spell. I know I'm taking away from South Park, but that was one of my favorite day spell skits, y'all, bro. I'm pretty sure you shouldn't Chappelle say that word show. about Jesus. Yeah, you're gonna hurt the band. Who fucking cares, Token? I can never beat Kyle now. I'll say it again. F Jesus. Oh, uh, you tripping. My ears are bleeding. Good my job, ears are bleeding. You lost the entire audience. Now, nah, fuck you, Token, you black asshole. <laughs> oh, shit. There you go. <laughs> Kimbo sliced his ass, didn't he? <laughs> Somebody call uh, Dana White uh, glass. And everybody just walks away from him. And then butters. Fuck <laughs> you, 
<laughs> wow, man. I, you can you you know you slowly and slowly and slowly see butters transitioning from that little punk. He's starting to get more balls. He's starting to get some balls. You know what I'm saying? That man, but he did, he waited till Carmen was on the ground, literally gasping for air. Boy, that man, Carmen has been hit, got his ass whooped several times. I, and I know I'm gonna miss him out, but just the first three that's on top of my head: Wendy, Token, and PC Principal. Off rip. Jennifer Lopez beat him, beat the hell out of his hand, bro. Wow, man, that's crazy, man. That's crazy, man. Look, y'all, thank y'all for kicking it with your boy, man. Hey, there are going to be more South Park episodes. There are going to be more King of the Hill episodes. We're on a, a slightly different time frame, man. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the episodes, man, your boy, um, for, we just been getting yellow mark, man. I'm, I'm talking about yellow mark, something terrible, bro. And uh, when you get yellow mark, um, your boy ain't making no, you know, no money off of that. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know about y'all. But I think just like y'all, your boy needs a little bread to survive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? You need a little bit of money. Uh, so we're just we're just working on the back end, trying to get that figured out. But regardless, man, whether I can or I can't, we still gonna drop the we still gonna drop the episodes. The shit ain't gonna stop for y'all. I'm just letting y'all know, man, because y'all my boys, and uh, you know what I'm saying. I just talk to y'all about pretty much everything, bro. I told y'all the time I drank pee. <laughs> You know, y'all my y'all obviously my fam now. Shit, the fuck? <laughs> Nigga, I'm talking about the time I drank pee, piss, piss.